World of Tanks Blitz is a strange phenomenon, believe it or not. There's a lot of high expectations from the player base towards themselves and towards other players. But what is World of Tanks Blitz really? Well, let's have a look and consider that. Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and as I said in the intro what is World of Tanks Blitz really? Now this is going to be quite a small video and by the way the replay has nothing to do with what, what I'm talking about it's just a replay that a clan member with one sent to me after the update that I thought I'd put on the background for aesthetics. Anyway back to the question what is World of Tanks Blitz really? It's an interesting question to be honest because it's a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But in its very basic and raw form, it is just a game. Nothing more than that. The interesting thing about World of Tanks Blitz is that it's we, the players ourselves, who set ourselves really high expectations. What, with a majority of the player base being absolutely infatuated with win rates when the majority of us should really be infatuated with enjoyment, surely. The game itself is like real life. You're going to have exceptionally good players and truly horrendous players. But it seems that we as a player base feel or think we should be in that exceptional player category for some reason. Maybe it's just our competitive nature as human beings. I don't know. Thing is, not all of us, in fact, the vast majority of us, will not be in that exceptional player category. And to an extent, that mirrors real life. So, for example, I am a 48-year-old specialist lawyer, a barrister, actually. And I have a single client, a bit like Tom Hagen's in The Godfather. I mean, I have like four law degrees and I've been to some of the best universities. And you could say I am like at the top of my game. And there are other lawyers who are not as good as me. Simple as that. And there will be other lawyers out there who are exceptionally better than me. I mean, that's just normal. And Blitz is similar in a lot of respects. Some players just have a natural talent to play this game at an exceptionally high skill level standard. And no matter how hard we try or how many times we practice or how much we play the game, the chances are we'll never match their skill level or even get to emulate their skill level if the truth be known. But should that be your only goal in the game? Should you stress yourselves out on chasing that massive win rate? and therefore lose the enjoyment factor because you're constantly screaming at everybody else. Well, that's the thing you need to think about. I mean, the way I look at it is that Wargaming have given us a really, really nice game, an enjoyable game, a quick game, a game that you can log on no matter where you are, realistically, on your phone or whatever, and play for seven minutes. I think that says match, and you can play one battle in seven minutes. Most of them don't even last that long and you can have fun doing it. So why add to all this and take away the enjoyment by stressing about your win rate all the time? Focus instead on enjoying the game for what it is rather than what you could be. And let the pros in the esports side of the game worry about their win rates. And the thing is, if win rate is the only thing you worry about and the only thing that gives you enjoyment and you don't have the pro level of skill, then guys, just plays tier one to tier four. Your win rate will shoot up <laughs> no end, seriously, because you'll be playing against players who aren't experienced. And, you know, you'll be out in tanks that, well, easier to play, let's be honest. But would you really enjoy playing all your battles in tiers one to four? Really? Not only that, okay, eventually you'll get that light blue or purple win rate, but in real terms, it'll be meaningless. Seriously, it really would be, because you're, you're missing out on a vast majority of the game. At the end of the day, if you're good enough and your skills are good enough, you'll get 
that light blue or purple win rate given time. But that shouldn't stop you from enjoying what in its basic format is a game that is enjoyable. Yeah, I understand losing game after game is not enjoyable. Of course it's not. But that's because we're losing and we're worried about our win rates. Whereas if we rolled out and we played a stonking battle and still lost, we'd still enjoy it because we'd enjoy smacking people around or we enjoy playing the tank or we enjoy just playing the game. You know, I use the game as a, for various reasons. One, I enjoy rolling out in tanks. And two, I enjoy smashing stuff. And three, well, I, I just enjoy blowing shit up. Simple fact of life. And if I win, great. If I lose, dust yourself off and play another game. And if you lose a game and a game, turn the game off, go and make a cup of coffee, come back, and then turn the game back on again. It's up to you how you play it. But don't suck the life and enjoyment out of the game by chasing something that makes you tunnel visioned because you will start to be frustrated with the game and you won't like the game and you'll throw the game away. And it's a nice game. It's a good game. It's an interesting game. I mean, I recently did a video on, you know, the good things that Wargaming have done. And we have lots of content and we have loads of really good things in this game. Yet it seems that we're just hung up on one of the multitude of good things that we have in this game. And that one thing is win rate. And you see it in the chat and you see it all the time. So all I'm saying is this. Don't worry and get hung up about your win rate. It doesn't matter if you're a 43% win rate player. Don't get hung up. If somebody calls you a noob it happens all the time don't worry about it enjoy the game because that is what it's all about guys just enjoying the game for what it is which is basically a game to be enjoyed anyway I've been Fujit this has been just a quick video on my thoughts because I see a lot of the chat where it says oh you're a noob delete the game blah 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 don't worry about any of that just enjoy the game. Roll out in the tanks and have some fun. By all means, comment everything below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It costs you nothing and it makes me happy and puts a smile on my face. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. I'd like to do a big shout out to all my patrons who, without their support, then videos like this would be a lot harder. And until the next time, guys, and in the current circumstances, please, please, please stay safe out there. Stay inside where you can. So stay safe, have fun, and happy tanking. Because look, guys, really, that is what it's all about. It's not just a catchphrase. Have fun and be happy.